Good morning everybody, Flack is back and what a beautiful morning we have in Rust. And it is beautiful because we finally have the CCTV camera. Yes, Face Punch has finally released the CCTV camera system and it is the best thing since sliced rock. They released the patch late last night and it is just incredible. In this very quick video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set them up, how to wire them up, what it needs, what it does need, and of course a sneaky little exploit at the end of the video but more on that later. What you're gonna need to set up the system is a standard CCTV camera. This is the same CCTV camera that you find on monuments and in boxes, and a new item that you will not recognize, the computer station. The computer station at the moment doesn't require any electricity to run, it's just the standard deployable. However, in the near future, I do suspect it will use quite a chunk of electricity. And the reason why is because it is made up of a broadcaster, a receiver, and of course, the same targeting computer used in the auto turret. Fortunately, the computer station is learnable and it's gonna cost you 75 scrap to learn it and a tier two workbench in order to make it. To craft yourself one, you're gonna need 20 high quality metal and then of course, a standard receiver, targeting computer and a broadcaster. So let's show you how to set up this bad boy. I'm gonna grab a standard CCTV camera, nothing fancy, like I said, the normal one, and we are gonna place it on a wall. You have to stand quite close to the wall in order to place it. Once you put it down, you will see that it has a set ID. The set ID serves as the security, almost like a frequency broadcast code. Right, now like I said, the set ID function is a bit of a password, like a security feature. It is case sensitive. The cameras come with the default name of Cobalt One. You wanna change it to something unique. Bearing in mind this is case sensitive, so like an email password, you might wanna go uppercase, lowercase, that type of thing. Give it some electricity. and then your camera is set up. As you can see, I'm branching out six electricity to the LCD screen. The LCD screen is using one electricity and sending the remaining five to the camera, meaning the cameras use five electricity each. If you only send four electricity to the camera, the camera will not function at all. So each camera needs at least five. Once your camera is named, you take that exact name, you go to your computer station, you enter the CCTV camera's name in the identifier block. Once you click add, you'll see it shows up on the list. Click on the camera and press it. You can suddenly see out the camera. Isn't that just the best? To aim the camera, what you wanna do is pull out a building hammer and then as you face it, just push on the E button. The camera will face wherever you're standing. In the future, Face Punch will make the settable via the joystick on the computer station. However, at the moment, this is the way that one would set the camera's direction and it's not that bad. And there we go, looking sexy. Looking awfully thick there, boy. About two hours ago, Shadowfrax released his own video on the CCTV cameras, and he entered a camera called Dome 1. And once I enter Dome 1, I can actually see through a CCTV camera that's located at the dome. A very interesting addition indeed. This would make looting monuments very interesting in the future. I don't know which monuments are going to have cameras and which aren't, but at the moment, Dome is the only one. Once I fly over to Dome, you can actually see the camera is physically mounted there. So it's not just a generated viewpoint from the game itself, it's an actual camera, which I think is actually superb. The camera system, of course, is fixing one of the biggest problems we've ever had in Rust, and that is the door camper. Now that you have a camera system, you can easily just place down the camera, name a door, aim it down, and then prevent silly no-lifers from camping your door. Give it some juice. Enter the name of the camera into your computer station. You'll see that I am naming it lowercase letters and it's not adding. I have to make it uppercase. So again, I would recommend making your camera like an email password. Uppercase, lowercase, numbers, the works. And there we go. You can see that there is nobody camping our invisible door. Now I'm gonna set up the rest of our cameras to make sure our base is super safe. I couldn't find a limitation on how many cameras you can place, so I can imagine it's unlimited. And of course, the most important camera of the lot. And then of course, give every camera that you just placed some electricity. I'm not gonna insult your intelligence by showing you how to wire the camera. They're all the same. Just give them five electricity each and they will function. Be sure to name each camera appropriately using uppercase and lowercase for security purposes. You might wanna write those camera names down on a separate piece of paper or in a notepad just for future reference sake. And of course, the most important camera name of the lot, the Flak Booty Cam. Enter the names of the cameras that you've just added into the computer station, and voila! A perfectly secure base. I've got my two door cams in the front. I've got the south side of my base, two cameras there. 
one aiming to the east, and of course, the money shot cam. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I was a little bit... You know, I was a little bit worried about what the cameras are going to bring to the game. I think it might be a good thing. I also think it might be a bad thing. Like everything that gets added to this game, it's going to be abused by clans. I just hope they don't abuse it too much. And like I mentioned earlier in this video, your boy Flack has already figured out an exploit for the camera. So let's say you're miles away from the base and there's a particular point of interest that you want to monitor. Maybe a rival clan you just want to keep an eye on. Place down a foundation. Place a twig wall. Put down your camera. Remove the foundation and you've got a magical floating camera that is actually fully functioning. You can wire it to electricity, you can even move it around, you can aim it. It's a fully functioning camera. It's very likely that this is going to get patched, but at the moment it works and it's great. An idea you could potentially do is place down a foundation in a bush, put a wall down, place the camera nice and low so that it's hidden in the grass. You then remove that foundation, place down the solar panel hidden somewhere nice, and then you wire up the camera. Place down the foundation, put down the TC, the TC will allow you to set the ID. With no building privilege, you cannot change the name of a camera. Quickly change it to something like bush cam, remove that foundation and the TC, and you have a hidden bush camera. Back at base, we're going to go quickly add that name, bush cam, add it, and there you go. A rival clan, a point of interest of some kind that is now vulnerable and under your watch at any given time. Now the signal carries right across the map and that is a bit of a concern for me because I see big clans using these cameras and I see them monitoring the oil rig from the south coast while they're built up in the north, monitoring launch site, monitoring the excavator and whilst it is a really cool idea I just hope that the cameras aren't going to be a detriment to the solo or smaller groups. One of the positive things however is that I hate the idea of leaving my base. I hate leaving my door because I usually play solo and I usually play in a small base and the number of times I've been door camped is unbelievable. I've had people sit crouched at my front door waiting for 15 minutes in dead silence and as I climb out my base I get absolutely massacred. So the camera for the door camping for the smaller groups is a really good thing and I'm quite excited to use it in game. At the moment this is all on staging branch so it's not in game yet but during the next force wipe it's definitely going to be released. Next week is going to be quite interesting indeed. I'm going to record a wipe and use the cameras to do some trapping so if you want to see that be sure to be subscribed to Mr. Flack and I will definitely make a video on that next time. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like. Thank you so much for watching and to my patrons that get my videos a little bit earlier than everybody else. I do apologize for not releasing this video early. However, However, because Face Punch released this late last night, I had no choice but to release it because it is a time-sensitive matter. Face Punch did mention before that they are going to release an app for Android and for Apple where a user can actually monitor their in-game CCTV cameras from their in-real-life app on their phone. I'm not sure if this is a good thing. I can imagine school kids or people working, sitting in horror at work or school, freaking out because their base is getting raided until their signal of their CCTV camera cuts and then they know it is all over powerless to do nothing. What do you think? Do you like the cameras? Do you think they're stupid? Give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you again for watching and as always, flack out. The names on screen that you see right now are the absolute biggest legends in the world. These are my patrons and they support me through thick and thin and I absolutely adore them. If you'd like to join the patron squad, follow me on Twitter, join my night partner Discord, follow me on that purple streaming service, or follow me on my almost never used Instagram, please be sure to click on all my social links in the video description below. A very big shout out to Razor and to XGamer who now came on board the Mr. Flack channel and are officially my two new sponsors. So if you're wondering why my voice sounds so different or why I have so much energy, be sure to blame Razor and XGamer for that. Thank you again for watching, and as always, Flack out.